Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech, and today we're going to be doing a review on the Azul Quantum Access LAN PC stick. So let's get started. Before we begin, I must say that Azul was nice enough to sponsor me for this video and also provide the advice for the review. Now, I've been playing with this device for the past couple of weeks and I've been very impressed with it. Not only it's a small form factor, it also comes with a LAN port. So for those of you who rely on a direct internet connection, this has it. Now, as far as the hardware goes, this is an Intel Atom Z3735F, which is a 1.3 gigahertz turbo boost up to 1.83. It also has two gigs of RAM and 32 gigabytes storage, and also includes Windows 10 Home Edition built in. So let's take a look at the appearance on this guy. It fits well on my hand, and on one side you have the USB port, then the micro USB, and then the power button. On the opposite side, you actually have a slot for expandable storage and the Wi-Fi antenna. On the bottom, you have the LAN port, and then the opposite of that is your HDMI cable. Now I've been using this more of a media center, so I've been streaming Netflix on here, Amazon Prime, and some YouTube and stuff like that. I also installed Kodi into this device to stream my local content, and anything I throw at it just works buttery smooth. I don't have any latency or any sluggishness or any skipping or anything. Now, I've actually used this for a desktop a few times already. So if you got one of these little HDMI to VGA converters where it allows you to output to speaker, you could install Office and all your suites on this. I even threw in Photoshop and it worked fine on this little guy. If you check out their website, they actually have bundles available. You could actually get this with either a keyboard, a wireless Logitech keyboard, or you can get the Logitech keyboard and a webcam, which helps if you're going to be using it for Skype, if you're going to talk to family, friends, or even use this in a conference room. Here's my few thoughts about it. Now, when you unplug this device from the TV after using it, it is a little bit warm to a touch, so keep that in mind. It doesn't burn your hand or anything, it's just warm to a touch. Now, another thing that I noticed is this thing boots up super fast. It actually boots up faster than some of my TVs I have in my house. So whatever they did to it, makes it run really good. Another thing is that this thing actually has a BIOS. So what that means is I can potentially install other operating system in this device. So I might be doing that later in the future on my other videos. So go check those out. Uh, another huge factor on this, which I enjoyed the most, it's the power consumption. I actually put this on a kilowatt meter. You're gonna see at full load, almost full load, and I'm re rendering Netflix and everything. You only see it running at 4.5 watts, or right around that range. The max I ever seen this when I was doing a benchmark was 6 watts. And it's very impressive if you already have a HTPC near your TV that's running probably 50, 60 watts at a given time on idle. So just imagine that. Another thing I was actually very impressed with is their support. If you check out their website, they actually have all the support that you need. I was actually planning to blow this away and install another operating system, but the first thing that came to mind is how do I restore the Windows 10? So go check out their form. I'm gonna leave a link in the description on how to get all this support and it's everything is right there, which is very impressive. Thanks for watching my video. If you enjoyed that, please hit it up in the comments below. I'm gonna leave all the links and everything that I talked about in the description below so you can check those out. If you haven't done so already, Hit that little subscribe button, that helps me a lot. Also gives you notification when the next video is going to be out. And as I say in my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.